There's no need for an intro. We all know why we're here. <laughs> we're watching Invincible. Let's get started. <laughs> all I really know is that it's an American superhero cartoon. Coffee. And for sure. I'm already getting kind of excited seeing this animation style. Superhuman evasion training. We have to get recertified. More superhero bureaucracy. Is that the White House? I'm supposed to learn to tuck and roll away from a guy who can shoot lasers from his eyes or control minds or kick a goddamn school bus to the moon? It's the job. That was oddly specific. <laughs> they got a guy who can do that or girl. I'll be living it up in London, seeing sights, eating Indian food. Enjoy getting laser burn. Oh, you're going to be gone the whole time? But because this is the White House and because this is so calm, I feel like he might not make it to his Indian food excursion. He stared down his demons and he... Damn it, he conquered them. I've never done anything that hard in my life. Well, this took an oddly so touching turn. I'm <laughs> proud of the guy, of the man he's becoming. Wow, I really hope you make it to London. I wasn't there when he was born. I didn't, I didn't teach him how to ride a bike or throw a ball. <laughs> and... Yeah, this got really was, serious. It got really heavy all of a sudden. Stage and accepts that diploma. No, it's just too sweet. It's too sweet to be true. I'm getting really nervous. Oh, you, you, you just take all the time you need. Yeah, Why yeah. Why don't I just make some hot cocoa to cheer up my sweet? Why don't you go now before anything bad happens? Oh, like you're not crying on my shoulder every time you don't get a second date. What? No, I damn it. Every time, <laughs> every time. This is why we can't have anything nice. The president is targeting us, so we shatter the illusion of his safety. It's not enough for us to kill him. It has to be a spectacle. This is a very uh, casual conversation while taking turret fire. No, no. Order. Leave him alone. Order. Leave him alone. Matt's graduation. Steve, look out. Get out of there, Steve. Oh, thank you. I find myself very attached to this security guard already. <laughs> Just from that one story he told. Sorry I'm late. Red Rush. Get this guy out of here. Red Rush. No relation to the Flash, of course. And that guy certainly wasn't Batman. Because I know nothing about the show, I'm wondering how much of it will be like parody elements. You know what I mean? That's Batman. Come on. On a surfboard. It seems like one of the Blues Brothers was insinuating that they're being targeted. Do we have an X-Men thing going on here? Focus on Evac. We can deal with these two once the area is clear. Nice. Yeah, totally not the Flash, though. <laughs> What power was that? Teleportation? Don't move. Some kind of phantom thing? You are nice. President duty. On it. <laughs> I wouldn't normally move so fast, but there were so many of you that So polite. Oh, no. it's, it starts with one of you, then that... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Interesting. They usually don't show you that part, I guess. No, what about you? Oh damn. Is Batman about to di die? There you go. What are they rivals or something? You're welcome. Get those soldiers out Interesting. It's got to be a lot of weird dynamics between all these heroes. Take my hand. <laughs> Yeah, there's a little bit of rivalry here. No? This guy's stealing their thunder by himself. I mean, they're all human. They all got their social dynamics, right? I can't shake the feeling that the Blue Man group is like underdog somehow. You know what I mean? They just seem a little bit clueless. This guy lost an eye. There's only two of them. They're unclear about their identities. One of them is a clone. Maybe both of them are clones. I don't know. It's kind of kind of tragic. No? That is amazing. That is also amazing. <laughs> they all just want to get hits in? Is that what's going on? We did it. We we sufficiently beat them up long after they were defeated. I'll be out in a minute. I don't have a minute. Mom. My bathroom's out oh of sight. God. Get over yourself. I used to change your diapers, kid. There's nothing going that's, on down there no. I haven't seen before. Just get but that's not out. the point. Yeah. Can a man have some privacy in his own? I don't know if it's own room, but. I'm not too late. I'm going to shower. I don't know, something That's about so this fast. guy. Come here first. The way other heroes reacted to him. Or maybe it's just his mustache, I don't know. Let's get you out of that costume. Oh. Boundaries, people. Yeah, this family has none of that, apparently. What were you thinking? Paris? Actually, I was kind of pulling for that little cafe in Berlin. I've been jonesing for those sausages. Must be nice. Oh, you guys are going <laughs> best worst? I love that place. You've got school. Oh, Lucas, come crawling back. Kick in, you can go on your own. 
Salt on when the your wound, powers Dad. kick in. You've got to be due okay. any day now, son. You'll see. Don't get his hopes up. Maybe he has no cork. Well, you are big and strong, aren't you? You know it. And you think that makes it okay for you to harass me? Don't walk away from me. Oh God, this guy's a real lesbian or something. Yeah. Oh, of course, because anyone doesn't like you as a lesbian. <laughs> I think Amber's been pretty clear about how she feels, Todd. <laughs> are you serious, Grayson? Leave him alone. I mean, he created an opening, so you know he did his part, I guess. Yep, nothing's going quite right today, is it? That's not. Uh. Close one. Oh, look at that. Ah, it's about time. He took that so casually. I would have been like flipping out. I made some chicken. That's nice, mom. But today I threw a garbage bag into the sun. A dragon, nice. <laughs> She's just so done with the whole thing. Finally getting his powers. <laughs> Are you sure? Is he disappointed? That was not the reaction that he expected. What's so bizarre about that scene and also really interesting is the fact that the feeling you might expect from that is completely absent. Like that should have been one of the greatest, if not the greatest moment of his life. And it was just like snuffed out immediately. No one was there to see it. He seems wildly unpopular despite, you know, his animated good looks. <laughs> And his father, who, I don't know, it seems like they have somewhat of a tense relationship, but, you know, he's got to look up to him, right? He's got to want his approval. Gave him kind of a, a lukewarm reaction. You think you're old enough for me to tell you where I really come from? Millions of miles from come here, from? out in deep space, is the planet Viltrum. Yeah, the Superman parallels continue, I guess. Viltrumites are very similar to humans, except we can fly, move at super speed, <laughs> and possess great strength. And great mustaches, apparently. Using our abilities to help lesser developed worlds. Judgmental much? To relocate to Earth and be its sole protector. I feel attacked. Your voice will start to crack as it begins to change. You'll begin to grow hair in strange places. And especially in your upper lip. <laughs> develop superpowers of your own. Just dropping that in at the end there. Okay. Yeah, I'd always said it was like a reflex. So if I don't want to fall, I won't. And even if I do, maybe it won't even Dude, hurt. Dude, give it some or time. Maybe... Come on. No, screw it. <gasps> oh. Oh. This is all happening so quickly. Well, this is going well. This first flying attempt. <laughs> yeah, about my first lesson. I just had it. <laughs> Okay, you don't want to fall, so you're going to have trouble relaxing. It's kind of like peeing your pants on purpose. What? Peeing your pants on purpose. You know, you spend your whole life trying not to pee your pants. So letting go, peeing your pants on purpose, it's next to impossible. That's true, yeah. It's difficult. I've never tried to pee my pants intentionally, I don't think. Maybe I have. But I know what he, I know exactly what he's talking about. Oh, I know why. It's like peeing in the ocean. That's when I've experienced that. <laughs> it just feels wrong, even though it's the ocean and, you know, it doesn't matter. Let's move on. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> land. I said land. Why aren't you slowing down? I can't! Stop. <laughs> Stop. This is like when your parents teach you how to drive. And then they, they get too scared and yank the wheel and almost hit a small child. Come on, we're gonna try something else. He seems like such a gentle and reasonable guy. Something about him, maybe the mustache, makes me feel weird. We can literally push off anything. We can create our own leverage. That's pretty amazing. So damn cool. Try it a little more like this. Like what? <laughs> That's some tough love. If you really want to do what I do, you have to be prepared for anything. No one is gonna pull their punches. It's good advice. He's so sulky. Sulky Mark. <laughs> I pushed him pretty far. This pro went pretty well That's overall, though. Did you maybe push too far? Are you questioning me? Ooh. What the hell has Ooh. gotten into you? Something's on his mind. I'm sorry. Mark got his powers so late, I wasn't prepared for this. It seems like he doesn't want it. it. Changes things. Yeah. What are you worried about? Maybe our lives would be better if he hadn't gotten them at all. Well, at least he's speaking honestly. Did you hear that? Jeez, man, you still sore from Todd's thrashing? What's up? Huh? Oh, I'm so used to My Hero Academia where they're just so open with their powers. Forgot that normal superheroes don't reveal everything. And I don't see Amber anywhere nearby. This is such bad timing for, for this guy. Ass. Todd, please. Such bad timing for Todd. Ass. 
Hit me. Go on. Hit me as hard as you can. <laughs> okay, Tyler Durden. How embarrassing. <laughs> That's all you got? This guy's not very creative with the name calling. Ass. Freak. He's just so not ready. Who the hell are you? I'm... Uh... I'm... I guess I'm working on that. Any suggestions? <laughs> Captain God with the whole punch to him? Doesn't really roll off the top. <laughs> <laughs> yep, preparing for a lifetime of... Property damage, what I see. About ass kicker. That is good. A great backup, but we're gonna keep trying. <laughs> Honestly, I think you might have skipped a few steps, Mark. Yeah. Seemed to work out just fine. It may not look like much, but you did far more damage down there than you needed to. I right. don't think you're ready. Isn't that the hero way, though? I feel like it's critical how the dad responds to it. Like, if he's overly harsh, it's easy to take that as just, like, outright disapproval and to get frustrated by that. Maybe a solution is to take that that energy and, like, channel it into something that is appropriately graded. You know what I mean? To come down on him will sever a bond, and I feel like he's sort of at a weird, like, critical point right now. Hit me. What? Huh? <laughs> Hit me now. I'm strong. I know you are. No, you don't! I know you think I can't do this! Get a lot to Hit prove. Hit me and let me prove you wrong! Please, Dad! Please just hit me. Oh, son. I'm weird. strong enough. So weird. And I can do this. I want to do what you do. I want to be just like you. You will be, son. There you go. You will. Mark really opened that up. Follow me. Yeah, here we go. This is more like it. That could have gone really badly. Wait, you already have one made for me? Is it a surprise? Usually we start with a conversation and I make something custom. But I do have one that might work. What do you think? Very bold. Not your best work, Art. <laughs> Can't blame the a guy for glasses. trying to move unsold merchandise. <laughs> At least he's honest. I like the goggles. Oh, you, you do? Okay. Having a name helps. Dark Wing has dark wings. The Red Rush is a red rush when he runs by you. You get it? You give me something to go on, I'll strive for iconic. Think about it and get back to me. <laughs> it's a lot of... A lot of pressure. I also have this growing, sinking feeling that what's happening here is that actually the father is is great and that he's gonna die like a little bit too early and leave Mark sort of in a vulnerable position. There's a lot of ways this could go. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I've just become really cynical from watching shows like Attack on Titan, but there's something weird lurking underneath the surface of all these characters. You know what I mean? Like, am I insane? I mean, they're human beings, so I guess that makes sense to some extent no matter what. I can't land well. I can't fly all that fast. I need to be better. Mark. He's trying to do everything in one day. I need to practice. Honey, it's the middle of the night. I get that feeling, I though. I have work tomorrow, you have school. Get inside right now. Make me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Does that oh, no. Feel strong? To know I can't physically make you do something? Is that what you need? It's okay, sweetheart. I get it. You have to move away from the normal life with me and get used to being something more, like your dad. Yeah, but see, that's what I'm worried about. This is a really nice touch from the mom. I'm nothing like dad. I'm more like you. I'm nothing special. Oh, ouch. You don't have to be the greatest Omni-Man ever. You just have to be the greatest you. And what if the greatest me isn't enough? Mark, you stupid boy. <laughs> the greatest you not be enough. Thank you. That's some great I advice. My boring, powerless, everyday run of the mill mom. There you go. And That's I a little bit better. My asshole son. <laughs> At least she can give it back. See, she's got some strength too. It was a really beautiful scene, and I relate to certain elements of that so strongly. Like, I understand so well the feeling of having a passion or something I really desperately want. I always want it right now. You know, like I want it to be true now. That's one of the things I struggle with the most. You know, it's so difficult to get the emotional utility you need out of things that are imagined. The bigger the dream and the more steps you can foresee between now and, and achieving that dream, the more impossible it seems. Like it's just overwhelming to think about each step of the process. The anxiety can be soul crushing. And so as a way to ease the anxiety, a common instinct is to try to like do it all at once, you know? And while I still struggle from that immensely, there's a couple things that I think are important to keep in mind. Like one is I haven't really been able to get over anxiety completely about, you know, big goals. I have anxiety the entire time, but the important thing is that I don't let the anxiety stop me from taking the steps every day. Like in action, I focus on the micro and just do what I need to do every day, no matter what state I'm in. And that takes me to good places. And so I just trust in that process. 
it's not about curing the anxiety. It's a counterintuitive lesson, you know, because I feel like what I got a lot of the time for, for a long time was believe in yourself. Actually, you don't really need to believe in yourself fully in order to accomplish great things. The action is sort of where it's at, I think. In that sense, I think a great ambition is to try to learn how to act no matter what, how to act through emotional pain or how to act responsibly or intelligently or whatever through anxiety or, or whatever the case may be. And then about the imitation thing, him wanting to be like his father. I feel like his mother's advice is correct. Although I feel like it's actually a good first step to imitate. You know, like you don't really know what something is until you've done it for a while. And so it's perfectly reasonable to start out by Im imitating something that you like, you know, whatever the inspiration was. So he can imitate. You know, he can imitate what his father does and like just with time, he'll develop his own style. So what is it? You're just going to keep is he throwing the base of it all. So um, baseball around the world. I'm scared, dad. What if I can't do this? We get double the advice. First from mom, now from dad. That is amazing on so many levels. But you caught it. You're going to need to do things you don't want to do. It's OK to be scared. It's natural to doubt yourself. I love this parenting. All of a sudden, all this do parenting needs to be done. You'll do just fine. Right, right, right. You just focus on what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. Oh my god, that was close. <laughs> Is that a metaphor for the, the danger? You actually are invincible. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. And to add to that, I feel like the anxiety is not totally a bad thing. It means you're reasonable. It means you're thinking because there's a lot of risks. So I just think the important thing is that we don't let that stop us from acting. It's just a signal. It can be seen as information. The real tragedy would be to let the anxiety or the fear or whatever it is be in command or like lead the way. That's a loss of potential. I feel like to dream is to make a deal with fear. You know, like that's one of the costs of doing business. If you're not afraid, if you don't have qualms about what you're doing or whether or not you can succeed, chances are the dream isn't big enough. A real good dream or like a real good goal should make you sweat. If you don't get worked up thinking about it on some level, then it's probably a case of playing it too safe. A lot of my feelings about like the, the weird undertones of the show are quickly being subverted by optimism just because what a great experience for this kid to take on the challenge despite his fear. You know, that's something you commonly hear about bravery, right? It's not the absence of fear, but acting despite the fear. Oh, is that going to be a super name? Invincible. Got it. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, kid. It's gonna be one hell of a costume. <laughs> or it better be. Feels like it's coming together. It's coming together for Mark. Well, he kept the goggles. <laughs> what can I say? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I like the coloring, though. Very, like, Wolverine, sort of. It's feeling pretty, pretty cool right about now. Here we go. <laughs> I like how his parents just like lifted him up out of the dregs of his own emotions. This was like a payoff for that. Things are coming up, Mark. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And although like I'll never experience this, right? I feel like the, the parallel in life is like the feeling of things coming together. Like things are right, especially when like payoff or hard work is involved. Sometimes things just align correctly. You know what I mean? This feels like one of those moments. I like live for this feeling. Damn birds. Birds in every show. Oh no, oh no, oh no, we flew too close to the sun. Sucks for police in this world. Unlike My Hero Academia, it seems like a lot of people are immune to bullets. A lot of the villains. This seems like his first legit villain encounter. You know, you know heroes and their love for property damage. <laughs> we got a little heroic musical motif here. Property damage intensifies. You might as well give up. I'm invincible. Was that the opening? That was a long opening. It must be hard for him to make friends. He's got the whole ocean of friends. Is this uh, Flash? I mean, right. Red Red oh. Speedo or whatever his name is. Run! I don't want to see fear in your eyes. The same fear! Fight. What is this? I'll do my best to make friends with the guy. Joseph! You promised! Huh? Oh. Wow, he just saved someone during his date? It's amazing. You can't see things how I do. My perception is just as fast as I am. The briefest conversation with anyone seems like hours. <laughs> oh no. It's agony. Yeah, it does sound like torture. I mean, people talk slow as it is, and I don't have flash powers. Your voice is like music. There you go. Save it. Save your date. Beautiful woman. I hang <laughs> every word. He's a fast talker too. 
That's... Guardian's emergency. Give, give the man some respect. You know, he's saving people. He'll be right back. It's hard out though for a hero. You know what I mean? Denver is toast, Imato! I'm going out! And I'm taking the whole city with me! I've lined my suit with plutonium! <laughs> Doubt, throw them into space. Yeah, the, the heroes in this world really love space. Everything goes into space. School buses, villains, trash. He really is a fish, huh? <laughs> He's always a fish in that state. Finally, some action! Keep boring under the sea. All those fish. Fish are kind of boring, you know what I mean? I'm not worried about the shareholders here. I want a spectacular year for the world. All right, very Don't principled. Do enough for the world? It's never enough for War Woman. None of us do. Wow. Screwed on a challenge right there. High standards. <laughs> you did it! You did it! <laughs> what is he? An egg? Uh, that's a wrap. Uh, great work, everyone. How do they hold normal lives? I guess they just don't very well. Oh, I see. Her power is drugs. Darkwing, why did you call us here? Me? Oh no, it's a trap. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe we shouldn't have started to get to know these characters. What are you doing? And why are you doing it? <laughs> I have a lot of questions. Really, just those questions I just asked. Oh no, were my sinister suspicions about his mustache correct? Red Bandit is pretty clutch. Oh my god! What is going on? No, no. He was my favorite. Why, have you done this? Why? What is going on right now? I knew it. I just, there's something about him. Is it him? There's clones, right? Clones are a thing. That was the first, that was introduced immediately. I mean, it's not inconceivable that he's terrible, but I feel like after that conversation he had with his son, but I feel so bad about Red Racer. He was my, he was so sweet, like in his way. I love that date thing he had and everything. I also wasn't expecting this level of brutality from the show. Oh no, not Batman. Oh my god! Oh no. This is awful. <laughs> what in the- what? This is- what the hell? You know what though? There's something so genius about this. Having them be these superhero tropes. Or having them be superhero representatives of famous superheroes. That's brilliant. Because we're watching, in a way, our childhood heroes, our actual childhood heroes, get literally obliterated in the most gruesome but awesome <laughs> manner. Someone must be controlling him. He would never do this. Right, right. Something like that. Regardless, I guess doppelganger's is. out because the doppelganger wouldn't have the powers. Jesus. Are you doing enough? Oh my god. Attack on Titans over, they said. Lighthearted show, they said. Savagery continues. Eggman really coming in clutch. Are none of them gonna make it? Is this it? I guess for the Global Guardians. Nice knowing them, I guess. I'm glad we had all that set up. <laughs> set them up just to knock him down. This is definitely a solid replacement for Attack on Titan. Why? Ask him why, yeah. He won't tell you though, we won't get any answers. At least they put up a fight? <laughs> Looks pained about it. What is going on? I don't mean physical pain. Maybe he's, he consciously did that. Okay, you're just gonna end it there, huh? What an ending. 
That was such an amazing way to finish that episode. Holy crap. It came out of nowhere. Absolute nowhere. They lure you in so well with that. The first, I don't know, 80% of the episode is sort of in a superhero way. Slice of life. Very domestic. Kind of slower paced. Silly. Lighthearted. Perhaps a parody of tropes. And then the end is just absolute madness. And kind of perfectly adds all these questions. There is this dark undertone though there the whole time but I, I kept like second guessing myself I'm like I'm overthinking it I'm being too cynical or whatever there's something happening beneath the surface with this family and this guy and I might be imagining this but it seems like there were existing tensions between the global guardians and this guy when he first showed up they didn't seem too happy about that and you can maybe chalk that up to the fact that they're competitors in a sense or maybe they have different methods or whatever but maybe there's something else there as well I also had a feeling that we were going to lose the father and in a sense we did it just wasn't death it was like loss of faith. Although it really could be anything. It really could be mind control or something. This is just episode one and it's a cliffhanger. Either way, to have this be the threat is, is pretty awesome because this guy's been established as like the guy, like the Superman guy. So really fun start to the show. <laughs> a lot of doors have been opened with that ending scene. Who knows now? Who knows? I will see you guys next time for episode two when I don't know what happens next, honestly.